Graham Hunt. My name's Carly. And guess what? I was at McDonald's and this really cute guy who works there was just staring his guts out at me the whole time. So I smiled at him like this. <laughs> and guess what? He comes over and he goes, he goes, he goes, sorry, I just couldn't help staring. And I go, oh, it's okay, it happens all the time. And he goes, nah, your dress is caught up in your undies. <laughs> so embarrassed. But then we just got raving and guess what? He asked me out. So good. It was like my first date not at a car wash. <laughs> so wrapped, because he is really cute and we are so compatible, because guess what? He is a Libra and so would I have been if I had have been born then. <laughs> and anyway, yesterday he comes over and mum answers the door and so bad, she goes, Carly, there's a girlfriend here to see you. Can you believe it? Just because his voice hasn't broken yet. <laughs> and just because he's got long hair. And then the worst thing, Mum is doing the ironing in the living room, just like we are poor people or something. And she asks me to help fold the clean clothes. And right in front of Stephen, I have to help fold her underpants. <laughs> oh, so off, cos, you know, you have to, like, take an end each, take a height to the opposite ends of the room and walk back and meet each other in the middle. <laughs> and I had to fold Dad's white fronts in front of him. <laughs> oh, Fanny, and they're all yellow. Oh, <laughs> so bad. And guess what? He saw my bra and it's padded. <laughs> so embarrassed. And then, guess what? Gran comes in and she can't hear anything. And I go, Gran, this is Stephen. And she goes, oh, hello, Megan. <laughs> and I go, no, Gran, it's Stephen. And she goes, she goes, she just goes on and on about what a beautiful name Megan is. <laughs> and then she goes to him, you look just like Princess Di. <laughs> Fair income, I was just going to break her head. <laughs> So to get out, we took a stupid dog for a walk and feeding him, it was the worst thing. The dog drags the whole way like this. <laughs> you know, and it just does poo the whole way. <laughs> and then the worst thing is, it tries to get with other dogs. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. So we came home and we go into the other room just to get, be alone and everything. And um, we're just about to get with each other. We're going like this and Adam comes in and he goes, I've just come in to get a book. So we wait till he's gone. And then we go, and he goes, just got to put the book back. <laughs> so we wait. And then we hear, so I go, I go, I just grab the dictionary and I throw it at his head. But guess what? It wasn't Adam, it was Dad. <laughs> and it wasn't his head. <laughs> Fair dinkum, his voice was nearly as high as Stephen's. <laughs> he was really mad. So we went, we, we just went to the movies to see this horror film and it was so good because when it gets scary you can just go ah, ah, and sit on the boy's knee and just get with them. And there was this really scary bit where the monster just rips this girl's head off and I grabbed Stephen and I start getting him like crazy and it was great because he was such a good kisser and then I remember Stephen was sitting on the other side. <laughs> it was someone else. I was spewing because whoever it was was an excellent kisser. <laughs> Fanny came, I'm going to practice like mad now. See ya. I'm home. My name's Carly, and um, you know how it was my birthday today? Well, guess what I got? A year's private tuition in maths. <laughs> spewing, and guess what? My spat little brother made me this. <laughs> Doubly spewing. <laughs> uh, and then mum and dad reckon we have to go to Nana's, and I go, boy, you can't make me. And guess what? They made me. <laughs> so embarrassing, you know, because it was a special occasion. I was allowed to ask Dino. Oh, uh, whoopie do. Uh, and driving there was so bad because every time we tried to kiss, Adam, my spat little brother, just dobs on us. You know, and he keeps going like this all the time. He goes... <laughs> you know, he's so gross. And I go, oh, don't pick your nose, Adam. And he goes, I wasn't. I was just going... <laughs> Which is bull because he was going... <laughs> you know, and he goes, oh, Mum, Carly's looking at me, you know, as if it's a criminal offence. You know, Mum goes, oh, Carly, grow up. And, I mean, all I did was go... <laughs> You know, and I was just giving Adam a Chinese burn, you know, like, really gently. Yeah, I was, and Mum just goes mental at me. It was so unfair, especially on my birthday. And um, then the worst thing, Dad starts cracking jokes. And my dad, he cracks the worst jokes. Like, when we go past the cemetery, he goes, oh, the dead centre of town. People are dying to get in there. You know, and we go... And he goes, you know, why can't people living in Pleasant Hills be buried in the Greenvale Cemetery? Because they're still alive. <laughs> and everyone goes, you know, no one laughs at all. And so Mum goes, you know, let's play I Spy. Spack. 
Yeah. And she starts and she goes, I suppose my life is something beginning with G. And some, I go, I know, goldfish. And Mum goes, no, Kylie, you have to be able to say it. And I go, I can. And she goes, where? And I go, it's in Adam's pocket. <laughs> and Dad, he just goes back and hits the brakes. And Mum goes, I never said you could bring a goldfish, Adam. Adam goes, uh, duh. Yeah. You never said I couldn't. So we have to stop and bury it. And then we get to Nana's and I have to kiss her. And feeding her, she's so prickly, it really hurts. <laughs> uh, and she goes, you know, all right, you a big girl. Feeding, because I was going to punch her. <laughs> you know, and she goes, you're going to look just like your mother. And I go, yeah, if I stick my head in the microwave. <laughs> She gives me this card with two bucks and goes, don't spend it all at once. <laughs> like, she hasn't even heard of inflation. <laughs> and, I, and then we had to stay for tea, oh, and it was so bad. Like, she gives us this soup, and I go, what's this? And she goes, it's been soup. And I go, I don't care what it's been, what is it? <laughs> so and then I just burst out laughing, and it goes, it goes, it goes, and it just all goes all over the table. So funny, we just couldn't stop laughing. And then Nana starts going on about the wogs next door. You know, and she reckons they keep throwing rubbish over the fence. And Dino goes, why don't you try eating it? It tastes better than this. <laughs> and, and Dad just goes, hey. he goes, he goes, oh, he's so angry, he can't think of anything to go. <laughs> and then Nana, she goes, she goes, she just goes white and, and falls off her chair. And we had to take her to hospital. <laughs> and fair dinkum, if it hadn't been for that, it would have been the spackest birthday ever. See us. <laughs> My name's Kylie, and guess what we had to do today? Swimming. And so I was taking us, so I shaved like really carefully. And fan income, I have got like band-aids everywhere, see? <laughs> you know, and I couldn't find my bavers anywhere, so Mum goes to me, I can wear hers. And I go, bull, but like really politely. And she goes, she goes, she makes me spitting blood, because fan income, look at him. <laughs> She is so huge. Like, you know when you get in the bath, the water goes up? Well, that's what happens to my mum when she goes swimming at the beach. <laughs> you know, so I go to say, you know, oh, can I be excused from swimming? You know, I've got women's troubles. And he goes, Kylie, you have had women's troubles every week for a month. <laughs> and I go, oh, yeah, but, sir, um, you're not supposed to go in the water for an hour after you've eaten or else you get crabs. And he goes, that is bull. And I go, oh, well, um, oh, I forgot to bring my bathers. And um, Amanda goes, oh, no, Kylie, they're in here in your bag and pulls them out. <laughs> Could have punched her head in. <laughs> but guess what? I couldn't believe her. Amanda had exactly the same bathers on. <laughs> she chose them herself. <laughs> Such a bogan. And she goes, you know, oh, they're so excellent because they cover the bits like people shouldn't see. And I go, well, how come they don't cover your head then? <laughs> You know, and then we go into the changing rooms, and I was so lucky because Rebecca had another pair, so I borrowed hers. But I just can't stand changing the rooms because, like, you get in change, and all the girls pretend they're not looking, but they really check you out. You know, like to see if your belly button's an innie or an outie. You know, and they try and see your bosoms. And you should see Amanda's. Oh, hers are so pointy. They're thinking they're just like Mr. Squiggle. <laughs> oh, and she is such a show off. Like, she just walks around without anything on. Fair income, I nearly got snow blindness. <laughs> you know, oh, and then we had to go out and the girls have to jump in first and they all jump in and, like, the next minute, all these wet tissues float to the top. <laughs> and then the boys jump in and, like, all these wet socks float to the top. <laughs> oh, so embarrassing, you know, cos when I dived in, my top fell off. <laughs> right in front of Sir, like, six times. <laughs> I suppose I should have done it up. <laughs> but I was so glad, because, you know, like, I thought it was a heated pool, but then I realised I was just swimming near Stinky McMahon. <laughs> so off. Oh, but it was so funny, because I go to say, I go, oh, sir, how about we do some breaststroke, get it? <laughs> so I was just about to go bright red when Amanda goes, she goes, help, help! So stupid, it's pretty hard to drown with floaties on. <laughs> and I bet sir jumps in to save her, oh, I was spitting blood. But guess what? When he comes out, it was so embarrassing because he's got this gooby from his nose. <laughs> oh, like a real greenback. Oh, you know. And we tried to tell him, like, we go, Sir, sir, it's not a very nice day. <laughs> Get it? And we go, Oh, sir, wish they play a bit of boogie. <laughs> and, sir, are you a greenie? <laughs> no, but he still didn't get it. And in the end, I went, I went, Oh, I just went right off him. So bad. See ya. <laughs> Kylie, and guess 
what? I reckon my mum is having another baby. Either that or she is hitting the pineapple donuts really heavily. <laughs> Fan income, it better just be fat, cos guess what? My dad has had a vivisectomy. <laughs> he would spit blood badly. And guess what? Today, makes, mum makes me and Adam go to the supermarket. And that's not the bad bit, she comes with us. <laughs> so embarrassed. And like you could hardly miss her, she has got curlers on and a scarf on her head with moccasins. <laughs> well, the moccasins weren't on her head, but they may as well have been for how embarrassing she looked. And like she had on stretched tartan slacks. <laughs> so obvious, like cars were using her as a roundabout. <laughs> you know, and like everyone just stares at me and Adam as if to say, you know, there goes those poor kids with the really ugly mother. <laughs> and like my mother was singing. And fair income, she sounds just like a garbage disposal. <laughs> and guess who we bumped into? Sir? And I nearly died, because guess what section I was in? Toiletries. <laughs> and right in front of Sir, Mum buys toilet paper. But not like just one. She gets pedal eight pack. Because <laughs> it's on special. You know, as if going to the toilet is our hobby or something. <laughs> You know, and then Adam starts stirring me about Sir, so I go, oh, duh, as if I would like that dead said idiot. And guess what? Sir was standing right behind me. <laughs> oh, so bad. And then Adam starts acting normal. That is like a complete idiot. <laughs> and he goes, you know, I'm oh, really loud. He goes, oh, Mum, please don't make us eat cat food for tea again. <laughs> so I drop this big can of power right on his head. And then guess what? Sir comes over and Adam goes, Oh, hi, Sir, who's so sexy I could just die. But he didn't get to finish sentence because it's really hard to speak when you've got a packet of Kimby stuffed in your mouth. <laughs> so furious. And I go to Sir, you know, oh, you know, what are you doing at the supermarket? And he goes shopping. And I go, oh, me too. I just had to come down with my mum. I mean, this really fat lady who isn't related to me at all. <laughs> and I hardly even know her very well. And he goes, oh, I thought she was your mother. And I go, why? And he goes, he goes, because you look so alike. <laughs> Dead set, I nearly burst into tears. And then mum comes over and she goes, hello, I'm Kylie's mother. And I go, I go, oh yeah, that's right. She is my mother, I forgot. <laughs> so embarrassing. And then at the checkout, sir is next to us, right? And it was so bad, cause like he has got pate and we have got pex paste. <laughs> and he has got tagliatelle. And we get uh oh spaghettios. <laughs> he has got gouda cheese and we have got Roger Rabbit singles. <laughs> he gets Toblerone and we get laxettes. <laughs> And the worst bet, like, over the microphone, the girl goes, you know, can you get the price on the Selsun Giorgio? And then she goes, nah, Selsun Blue for a really bad dandruff. <laughs> I just nearly died. And then Mum hasn't got enough money, so she goes, take something back that we don't want. So I tried to take Adam back. <laughs> they didn't want him either. And then when we get home, I go like this. I was pretending to eat these lollies, and I go, oh, Adam, have some. And he's such a gutsy ate the lot. And guess what? I didn't tell him no lax eggs. <laughs> and guess what? He goes, he goes, he just goes everywhere. <laughs> Stop it chronically, Adam.